Hello everyone, welcome to today's five minute Friday. We're gonna be sowing some Aquilegia, a fantastic perennial plant. Um, great to grow at home, easy to sow, easy to grow. So I'm gonna put it in these cell trays. This, this is a second hand one. So if you can use the second hand one, obviously do. They last for absolutely ages. So I use them time and time again um, for these videos and for growing in. So what I'm gonna do is put some compost into the cell tray just like that so the idea behind five minute friday if you haven't seen one before is something you can do super quickly normally within about five minutes um, that makes a huge amount of difference to your garden um, and this is a great example sowing stuff in january which is when we are um, is a great thing to do because it gets you ahead it gets you into the season and I think it always feels good to do to do that. So I'm sm smoothing over the compost very lightly and I'm gonna tap it down. So you'll notice some of the compost will sink slightly. So I'll just top it up. We don't want it right flush with the top of the surface. Makes it a bit of a nightmare to water. Um, so I'll do that. And then I'm gonna grab the seeds. So these are very, very small, these Aquilegia seeds. And the thing about aquilegias, so I've poured, I don't know, 30, 40 into my hand. I'm not gonna count it. And I'm gonna aim to get around about two or three seeds in each cell. You don't have to sow as many as this. Um, so I'm just gonna do a line so you can see how we do it. Just sprinkle two or three seeds. Now, one slightly annoying thing about aquilegia seeds is they're pretty much the same color as compost. So, they are a bit of a nightmare to see. If I get four or five seeds in here, I don't really care. Um, that doesn't matter. It will still grow away nicely. So I'm just gonna use all the seeds up just to do these rows. And you probably can't see it going in, but you have to trust that I've done that because they are tiny, tiny seeds. Um, so what I do now is cover them very, very lightly. So you can use vermiculite to cover them. Um, I personally prefer just to use a little bit of surplus compost. Sometimes you get lumps in compost, so I sort of try and get rid of the big lumps and just lightly cover them, just like that. So the thing about aquilegias, or the majority of aquilegias, is the germination rate is not regular. So you'll find some will start germinating probably in two to three weeks. Some might take up to six weeks and obviously there's gonna be something in between as well. Um, so it's very, very common for people to see them coming through, but notice maybe five or six cells haven't come up. Be patient. You'll probably find they're gonna come up just a little bit later and they won't come to any harm sitting in a cell like this for a reasonable period of time. So I'm just gonna water over the compost lightly this compost was fairly moist anyway, so I'm just wetting it, making sure it's nice and moist, just like that. And I'm gonna put these straight outside. So they germinate best outside. If you're in a very, very cold part of the country, then maybe in a cold greenhouse or um, something like that where you can keep the frost away from them. But they germinate best between sort of just below five degrees. So put them outside, keep the soil moist. So if you're near an area where you're gonna get lots of wind blowing through, that can dry out the compost. So check back on it, check it's nice and moist and eventually, maybe two to three weeks, you'll start seeing your plants. Simple as that. See you soon.